going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i want to talk about the fact that michael myers is no longer supernatural going forward giving what we got in the 2018 film so for those of you who are fans of the franchise you understand or you have to be in the know that the intent of michael myers was to keep him very grounded kind of have that is he isn't he type, type of deal so while he was a human there was always that supernatural edge to him uh, of course, in the subsequent sequels that followed, we got a clear, definitive answer, and he started becoming supernatural. But in the original film, there's nothing supernatural going on there whatsoever. Surviving six gunshots isn't supernatural. Falling off a balcony and living after being shot six times is not supernatural. It's probably not likely that someone will survive that. That's unheard of, perhaps for a lot of individuals, but that's not supernatural. We can't... Getting stabbed in the neck with a... A needle again not supernatural and you also can't just assume that Lori struck a vital cord in his neck or a vital a vital uh, part of his neck same thing with the the chest wound the chest wound same thing you can't just everyone's different everyone has a different threshold for pain uh, Michael Myers is not supernatural he wasn't supernatural in the first movie and since everything after the first film with this 2018 movie and beyond is a sequel to the 1978 film, he is no longer supernatural. So I want to just address that and talk about why and kind of just break it down. Because in the 2018 film, he, he presumably from now what we know that Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends are coming, he had to have survived that fire that we saw at the end of the 2018 film. Now, how did he survive that fire? I don't think that needs to be shown on screen whatsoever. I think that kind of humanizes him a bit too much. I don't think they need to show that at all. Uh, keep the mystique intact. Do not let us see Michael Myers if in his most vulnerable state if he's not going to die. Uh, don't, we don't need to see how he escapes. It's, it's not supernatural for someone to survive a cellar that's on fire. That's not supernatural. And I kind of, the reason why I'm saying that is because the suspension of disbelief in our in the uh, movie going or the movie community is very is very it's not fair to me it's not fair so we have a we have we want to suspend our disbelief to watch these marvel dc films and get enthralled and entertained by these superhero movies but then when we have a character such as michael myers who is not supposed to be supernatural we can't suspend our disbelief just a little bit to have him survive a fire presumably something that most people would have died in that's that's the reason why that's frustrating to me is because yours one of them is more rational than the other it's more rational for a human being to survive a room that's on fire than it is for a human being to fly in the sky shoot lasers uh it's more rational for michael myers to, to escape a room that's on fire versus taking a trip to wakanda and like the rationality of the stuff that we want to suspend our disbelief for is kind of baffling to me. Uh, so just, I feel like we should just keep that same energy when talking about certain things and realize some things are more rational than others. Someone surviving a room that was entirely on fire is more likely than someone shooting lasers out of their eyes. Uh, Michael Myers is not supernatural in these in these new sequels. He wasn't supernatural in the 1978 film. Nothing in the 78 film suggests that he is supernatural. Uh, they always kind of toyed around with it a bit, yes, but you never got a definitive answer in regards to whether he was supernatural or not. And then John Carpenter is on record stating numerous times that he never was supposed to literally be supernatural. Having your fingers shot off like he had in the 2018 film, again, that is not supernatural. Anyone can have their fingers shot off and survive. Just because you think that that's something that would kill most people doesn't mean that it's going to kill everyone. Everyone does not die by the same stuff. Maybe we, we in the six bullets that, my, that Dr. Loomis shot at Michael, we aren't necessarily seeing where those bullets are hitting him at. Clearly, they weren't hitting anything vital since he survived six gun since he survived six gunshots. Um, those are just my thoughts on this. Michael Myers is not supernatural anymore. I know that they introduced the curse of the thorn in the sixth movie and all of that good jazz. But going back to the original intent of the character with the 2018 film and it being a sequel to the 1978 film, that renders all the other sequels useless and they're not relevant anymore. So with that being said, if you are knowledgeable on the character, then you should have no problem just accepting the fact that he is not supernatural. Michael Myers, he's not supernatural. 
he isn't doing anything that is supernatural. Like like I said before, escaping a room that is on fire and surviving six gunshots, having your fingers shot off, all of that stuff is not supernatural. Is it likely that someone in our real world would survive that? No. But the fact that he did doesn't now make him supernatural. Just kind of suspend your disbelief a bit more here if you're going to suspend your disbelief to watch movies where people are shooting lasers out of their eyes or people are flying and all of this other stuff like it's just not it's just not rational some things are more rational than others when it comes to that suspension of disbelief but those are my thoughts on it uh michael myers is not supernatural some things are just objectively true and that's just an objective truth he is not supernatural anymore there is no curse of thorn there is none of that stuff um let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.